Meanwhile, NASA is getting ready to launch a new satellite, and it's not just an upgrade, it's described as a total game changer. NISAR is the first joint space mission between the U.S. and India, and NASA scientist Dr. Paul Rosen joins us to explain what makes it different from other satellites exploring our Earth. Good morning. Good morning. So, Dr. Rosen, tell us about this new partnership and what makes this mission really special. Well, the partnership is between the U.S. and India. We are providing uh, one radar instrument on the satellite, and India is providing the second one. So we have two powerful radars that will be imaging all of Earth's land and ice-covered surfaces once a week. So we're going to be making essentially color 3D movies of the Earth using these radar frequencies, which are invisible to the eye, but very powerful for measuring surface change. Okay, that is exciting. I'm curious, how is it that NISAR will be able to monitor changes on Earth's surface? And what could that mean particularly for our understanding of our environment here in Southeast Texas, where we've got a lot of shoreline? Yeah, well, because we have these radars, we can use them kind of like a yardstick. We measure the, the uh, you can think of a water wave as having uh, peaks and troughs. We can measure the peaks and troughs of the, of the radar wave and use it as a yardstick down to an inch. So in places like Texas with, uh, with low elevation and nearby sea, we can measure the uh, changes in the level of the land down to an inch and understand then susceptibility to flooding due to uh, coastal processes. So it's very, very powerful. We can measure earthquakes, volcanoes, motions of uh, ice sheets, everything that's moving, we can, we can measure down to an inch. Very powerful. Wow. And with just about a minute and a half left, Dr. Rosen, what kind of observations, I'm curious, are you most excited to see with NISAR and all the data it'll be able to collect and send back? Well, I live in earthquake country here in California, so I have a, that, that measurement of the motion of the earth down to inches that allows us to understand the way that uh, earthquake faults interact with each other and what that means for seismic risk to all the residents of areas such as uh, California is very uh, important to me, very near and dear to my heart. But uh, actually, as the project scientist for NISAR, I have to look over all the different uh, areas of interest and everything that we do is so important in terms of uh, agricultural monitoring, forest monitoring and degradation, coastal erosion measurements, understanding ice sheets so that we can understand how uh, the sea level is changing uh, and affects coastal processes. They're all very important to be in and, and it's just very exciting. Dr. Paul Rosen, thank you so much for your time and that great information this morning. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.